die? Yes. Or just uh, seriously wounded, like uh, after He died. Oh, too bad. I know it's too bad, but this is important, I think, because dramatically, um, and again, that wasn't my original plan to kill him off. Um, in fact, the original plan was to send him off with King Arthur. Um, and then I realized that I was going to have, after Arthur found Excalibur, I was going to have Arthur search for Merlin. And, um, and then if he found Merlin, I'd have two magicians hanging around. <laughs> what the hell do I need that for? And I began to, so at that I began to rethink first, and then I started thinking about what Avalon was. And what, it, I mean, it was a war. And war has cost. And the cost has to be painful. That's why the Magus, again, it was one of these things where suddenly you realize, oh, that's what happened. I've got to do justice to that as the writer or producer on the show. Um, if, if, he, if he doesn't die, then that war had no cost, and that's not real. Um, and I'm not saying it's not sad. It is sad. I wanted it to be sad. Um, he was a great character. It broke my heart. But if I cheated on that, then, you know, I, I'm defiant. He's, we, as long as I was in control, you might see that character again in flashback, but you'd never see him, you'd never see his ghost. You'd never see him again in, in forward stories, because that's cheating. You don't get that lucky.